Are you tired of paying $70 a month for Hulu, Netflix, HBO, and Disney Plus to watch the same four or five shows over and over with the same okay movies all the time? Well, if you said yes, then you have a couple options. You could go and sail the high seas, like Captain Jack Sparrow and Monkey D. Luffy, although I do not condone that option. Or you could rip your physical media onto your computer and set up a Plex server to watch your media wherever you are. All right, so to rip your physical media to your computer, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure you have physical media. <laughs> Second thing you wanna do is make sure you have a internal or external Blu-ray drive or DVD drive, whatever you have at home, so you can rip those straight to your computer. All right, so to begin the ripping process, what you guys are gonna to wanna to do is go to Google or whatever search engine you guys use and type in make, if I can spell, MKV. And you're going to click on this link, makemkv.com. You're going to go here, and you're going to download Make MKV for Windows. And you're going to see it start downloading down here, and you're just going to run the setup file. Yes, I already have it, so it might uninstall it. Yes, we'll just uninstall and go through the process. Install. Okay. Accept. Next. 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 Run. All right, so you guys can see this is what Make MKV looks like once you're in here. And you'll go in here to select the Blu ray drive that you guys will be using. Mine is the Asus. All right, so you guys are going to want to stick in your Blu ray disc into your Blu ray drive, and you'll see the title of your movie or TV show show up right here. You'll see that I have The Wolf of Wall Street in. And what you're going to do is click on this right here, and it's going to start to unpack all of the data on your Blu-ray disc. So it usually takes a minute or so. I will see you guys when that's done. All right, so once you guys have your disc unpacked, what's going to happen is you're going to see this pop up here. Um, what you can do is select a output folder. So I am going to go into my big drive, Blu-ray rip, save them here first for myself personally. Um, and you'll see that there is two options here. You're going to have the 40.7 gigabyte folder and then the 2.3 gigabyte folder. You're going to want the big one. That's the full movie. Um, you can always go in and just double check and see what's in here. And you can uncheck anything that you want, like the subtitles or whatnot. I just leave it because I don't want to mess with that kind of stuff. And then from there, you are going to click make MKV. And then this pr process here can take usually around 20 minutes or so. Um, so go make us go have a snack, make yourself some food, do whatever you got to do. And I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, so you guys can see now that our file is downloaded to our computer, copy complete one title saved, you just click OK and then it'll bring you right back here. And what you can do from here is actually run right into your file folder. You can go back to that folder that you had it in and launch that through VLC. How do you expect to make any money? The movie's downloaded. Um, so now from here, you guys have two options. You can keep this folder and this file, which is very large you can see that the file itself is 39 gigabytes or you could download a program called handbrake and from here you're gonna open up the website and same thing you're just gonna download from here it's gonna start downloading the file you're gonna run the file open yes okay it's gonna reinstall it because i already have it Next, next, next. Let's let that run. Finish. And then from here, what you want to do is drop that file right in there. So it's going to scan. Do nothing in here. You can change the format if you want or whatever you want to do. Um, I always just make sure that it's set to 1080p because uh, that's what we want. You can run through all of this stuff if you really want to, um, but other than that, 
there's really not much that you have to do. This is just going to compress that file down to probably right around three to six gigabytes. And you're going to hit start and code. And I will see you guys in a few minutes when this is done. All right, so Handbrake has finished encoding our movie. Um, you can see Q finished, and it shows you right here where that file saves to. Um, you could have changed it before, I forgot to. Um, but so now what I'm gonna show you guys is the difference between your compressed file, which is gonna be like three or four gigabytes, mine was 3.8, to the full-size file, which was 39 for me. So here you have your full-size 39 gigabyte file, and then this right here is your compressed 3.8 gigabyte file. So looking at it quickly, I cannot see a difference whatsoever. Looking at it in detail with a pause screen like this, I see a little bit of uh, differences. I can tell that the one on the right is lower quality, but not drastically. Um, so I personally use Handbrake because it's just better to compress your files, save room, uh, and then I'll just delete this one off my computer. Um, so from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Plex and I'm going to scan my movie file by going in here. And what that's going to do is after it's done scanning, it's going to have Wolf of Wall Street in Plex. So you can see it right down here and we're going to play from beginning and you can see that the movie clearly works and you can go in, you can change the quality and everything. You can add subtitles. If you don't have subtitles, you can search and it'll just show something and right now it's not showing any. Um, but that's fine. So if you don't have a Plex server, I can quickly show you how to set one up. You're just going to want to go to Plex.tv and it'll bring you here. You're going to go to download Plex media server and then you're going to do windows and then you're going to click download here. I already have this downloaded. Um, I'm not sure if it'll uninstall. I really don't want it to, uh, but just run the file and for me, it's going to say modify. I'm not going to do this just because I've had my Plex set up for probably two years now and I don't want to potentially lose anything. Um, so just run through the setup. It's super simple. Um, and then you're just going to launch Plex media server down here. And then once that's running, mine's already running, so it's not going to do anything. You can see Plex media server is running right now. Um, you're good to go. And then you can go to Plex and you'll see all of your movies that you have. If it's your first time, you'll only see the one, um, but you can end up getting hundreds of movies and TV shows and whatnot, just so that way you can stream them wherever you go and you don't have to worry about paying for your subscriptions if you have the physical copy already. And yeah, that's it. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and think about subscribing. Um, if not, maybe I'll see you guys in the next one. And for those of you that stick around, I'll see you next time. Peace out.